Hey there everyone, this is Matt for Creative Reviews and today we're going to be doing the setup of the Surface Pro RT. This is the 32 gigabyte version and here we have the tactile type cover with little keys here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do setup. I'm not going to be using the manual so we'll see how intuitive it is and we'll see if it even needs to be plugged in to get things started. So we're going to hit the power button. We're going to hold it here for a moment. Nothing seems to be happening so far, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the power brick out of here. And we're going to hook this up because it seems like it needs power to start. So as we untangle the cord here, you can check out the power brick. It says Windows RT. And we will come around here, unclip this and plug it in the side. As you can see, this doesn't work out the best for me, but it works. So there we have it. It's plugged in. Now let's hope that this will work. Let's make sure that this is... There we go. We have some life. I'm going to turn all other lights off so you can have glare. Now the screen, the pixels on the screen are not the best. The Surface Pro has a better pixel density, but the Surface screen looks clear. Now this does have the matte cover that originally came on. I haven't removed it yet. I just kept it on there because I thought that it would remove glare and we'll see if I can still use that and if it becomes a problem I can always take that off so we're going to check our display language here let me make sure this is in focus okay so what we have right here is English, Espanol, and French of course, we're going to go for English to start, touch, and next. So what we have here are the licensee terms, and you can continue reading all this on your own time, but I'm going to click Accept, and Accept here. And what we're going to do is personalize this first. My favorite color is blue, so I'm going to keep this as such, because I like this blue color, but you can switch it to any which is my favorite kind of like this darker blue that's me all right so the pc name that we're going to give this is going to be my name now let's see if the type cover works automatically it does not so it seems like that's something we have to set up after uh, the initial setup so right now i'm going to remove the type cover and we're just going to have the tablet here, I want to make sure you guys can still see. Yes. Alright, so we're going to give it my name. Oh, I like the click. It's nice. We're going to go for mats. Let's see, where is... No. We're just going to go for mat B. That's going to be me next and we're going to check the wireless here I'm going to enter my password and we'll see which one here works we're going to set it to connect automatically Okay, it seems like that worked out. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through settings and we're going to use their express settings. 
You can customize the following settings or choose Express settings. If you choose Express settings, your PC will occasionally send info to Microsoft and will help protect your PC from unsafe files and websites. Turn on Do Not Track in Internet Explorer. Help improve Microsoft software services location services by sending us info. Check online for solutions to problems. <clears throat> Let apps give you personalized content based on your PC's location, name, and account picture. Turn on sharing and connect to devices on this network. Country or region, United States, keyboard, layout, US. So these are the express settings. This is what we're going to use right now. If you want to change it, you can always learn more or go and click customize. So right now, we're going to use my email address and log in right here. I just have to say I really like this click. It's one of my favorite things about this. So we're going to check for a Microsoft account. I did use a Gmail. Oh, and here we go. Let's hope that I can remember my password. Now it's saying that the password is incorrect, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a break here and we'll be right back. Alright, so eventually I did remember my password and we have it here. Now it's setting up and it's going to show you the introductory screens. This is going to give you some information on how to do anything that you need to do with your touch gestures. Swipe in for settings and everything will come on here on the side. Everything looks really clean and clear here. I'm really a fan of how, uh, how easy everything has been so far. <clears throat> the color saturation on this is great. Um, it looks great straight ahead, and it looks really great coming from the side, too. It says we're getting your PC ready. This will take a few minutes. Again, this has a lower pixel density than the Pro, but so far I'm not seeing any problems. We'll see what happens when I start looking at pictures and other things like that. As it's continuing here, I want to give you my um, my idea about Windows 8 as a tablet and as a replacement. I recently gave up my uh, Sony Z series VIO computer, and I want to have something, of course, with touch. Anything I have now is touch required. I just I can't go on without you know something to touch because I was having trouble typing on my keyboard and because I have so many tablets and iPhones I was repeatedly touching the screen and nothing would happen so I decided to get the basic version here which is the Surface RT with 32 gigabytes on board and my one of my favorite things is I don't have to give up having the mouse because the mouse is something I like to have regardless if it's touch or not so I have my mouse here can click anywhere has a nice at least sounding responsive mouse and the keyboard here is great it's really quick it's not a Bluetooth keyboard so it will show up the keystrokes will show up a lot faster than a Bluetooth keyboard for example I have my iPad and I do have a Bluetooth keyboard for that 
and it's a little bit laggy and when I want to write long things it's not something I really want to use. So with this I'll be able to use Word, um, PowerPoint, and Excel in any Office program I have and it will easily type it up. This is basically I don't know if it's going to be my favorite device because it's the RT and only allows for Windows based applications but in my head this is probably going to be my best bet because it's slim, it's slimmer than the Pro, it has a longer battery life, and hopefully Microsoft will continue to roll out great applications and give me a lot of use out of this. One of the concerning points is this only has one USB port, I wish it had more than that for connecting an external hard drive and syncing up another device with it, but it does have an SD card here which will be good. Uh, another concerning thing for me right before it starts is it does not have iTunes capabilities so I can't sync my iPad up to this. And here we go, here is the screen. It looks very nice, again I've kept the, kept the matte cover on here but right now let's see if we can turn up the brightness. Settings, screen, this can get pretty bright. It looks very nice, you can do all your touch stuff. Let's see if the keyboard works. So far the keyboard is not working, but that's something that we'll deal with at another time. So this has been the setup of the Surface RT. This one's 32 gigabytes. This is the 32 gigabyte version. It's a nice slim device. It was really easy to set up, and I suggest everybody go out and try. Oh, we're going to allow that, because I accidentally hit the camera. There we go. Camera's pretty good. Let's see if we can easily swipe back. Oh, and just for saying, it has a nice little light showing you that the camera is on here. Oh, here, let's go to the home button, and we're back. All right, so this has been Matt for Creative Reviews. Let us know what you think. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Blogger. And we'll be continuing doing, we'll be doing more Surface uh, videos in the future. Let us know what you like and what you don't like. I'll see you guys next time.